In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started working with copper tape and paper to craft circuits. There are two main types of copper tapes. One has conductive adhesive, this type you can order online. The other has regular not conductive adhesive. This sort of tape is more common and can be found at your local hardware store. They may look the same, but they function very differently when building circuits. With conductive adhesive tape, both the top side and the sticky bottom side of the tape will conduct electricity. That is, you can stick this tape over a gap in your circuit and electricity will flow through the adhesive and turn your circuit on. This means you can create new electrical connections and extend your circuit just by sticking down one tape over the other. On the other hand, with non-conductive adhesive tape, only the top side will reliably conduct electricity. That is, if you stick this tape over a gap in your circuit, it creates an unreliable electrical connection. As a result, your circuit might flicker, or sometimes it won't turn on at all. Here, you'll need to fold the tape on itself so that the exposed copper is on both sides. Then, you can tape it back down to your circuit, but since the ends aren't sticky anymore, you'll need to tape over the connection with a normal piece of tape to secure everything. Likewise, if you want to extend your circuit using non-conductive adhesive tape, just sticking the tapes together will create flaky connections. As a result, your circuit may flicker or not turn on at all. To fix this, at every junction between different pieces of copper tape, you'll need to fold back the end so that there is exposed copper on both sides, and then tape the connection back down with regular tape to secure it. This way, the connections are much more reliable. Now let's look at the craft side of using copper tape. You'll notice it's basically like regular tape except made from copper metal so that it can conduct electricity. You can use scissors to cut it, but it's also soft enough to tear by hand. I like to cut my tape in half lengthwise because this gets me twice the length of copper to use, and also thinner tape is easier to maneuver for finer details. Before sticking down the copper tape, you'll need to remove the paper backing. I've found the easiest way to separate the backing from the tape is to run the pad of your finger against the edge until the tape peels off. When cutting your tape in half, you can cut evenly and produce even straight lines, or you can feel free to play around and create curves or any designs that you want so that your tape is different widths. Here I've cut a wavy pattern. If you want to turn sharp corners with your tape, try this folding technique. First flip the copper tape over opposite your turn so that the sticky side is face up. Then flip the tape back down in the direction of your turn. Finally, flatten the corner and you've got a nice clean turn. You can create any angle you want using this fold technique. Try making your own zigzag pattern. In addition to sharp corners, you can also make smooth curves with your copper tape. The trick is to first stick the copper tape down so you have an anchor, and then crease the tape slightly so that it turns a little bit, and then flatten. Continue creasing slightly, and then flattening as you go along the tape. Pretty soon you'll have a curve. The more sharply you turn at each step, the tighter the curve. To flatten the wrinkles in your copper tape, you can use a smooth object like the plastic handle of scissors to work the wrinkles down into the paper. I found that the thinner the tape you use, the easier it is to make tighter curves. Try experimenting with different widths and see what patterns you can come up with. Once you're comfortable using copper tape, try crafting circuits. You can make different designs or even write messages with your circuit. You can also bend or fold your circuit like this circuit origami. Try taping your circuits onto other objects like your favorite mug. You can even use circuits to decorate your room like this window mural. Find projects and more tutorials like this one at chibitronics.com. Thanks and happy crafting!